at n next week's Consumer Electronics Show, there'll be a new gadget where you'll be able to control your computer with your eyes. And Lauren Good's going to tell us all about it. Lots of things. I'm so excited for the Consumer Electronics Show. I bet you are. <laughs> um, so, control something with your eyes. Now, explain what that means. It's not an entirely new technology. It's been around for a little while now, but its use cases have primarily been, uh, you, you know, it's being used by people with severe disabilities who perhaps are paralyzed and need to use their eyes to communicate. Uh, so it's being used in the medical field, or it's being used by psychological researchers who are watching the movement of eyes to determine, you know, cognitive uh, decision-making abilities and that sort of thing. And this uh, Swedish company named Toby, which actually demoed its technology technology at the D9 conference last year, last May. Um, they are going to be showing how eye tracking technology works when you're using it with the interface of a laptop. So it'll, it'll be this bar that sits below your laptop mm -hmm. screen and uh, it has sensors in it that will look and, you know, recognize your pupils and calibrate your pupils and then based on where you move your eyes, you will actually be telling the cursor on the computer screen where to move. I, lo I love this. Do you? I, I, so you no, just I, don't have to use your hands. Forget this it, you is know. great because no, no more carpal tunnel, right? Presumably, presumably. you can use, use your eyes. Now, g going back a bit, I know they tried sort of this with, with pilots and astronauts and stuff like that, but they 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 had difficulty with getting people to sort of like focus their eyes. So you sort of if if you've got a bit of ADD, and we know some people like that who can't concentrate, but. Wouldn't it be your eyes just going all over the place you and know, causing absolute madness? That's a really good point um, because often we are not looking directly at something and then moving our eyes to the next icon or tile on the screen. Uh, this technology is said to work within a quarter inch in terms of precision of where you're looking at. You do have to keep your eyes focused. Your, it's your pupils. You have to keep your pupils focused. Then the question I asked too was, well, what about um, something moving in the background? You know, for example, when the Microsoft Connect came out, people said, well, what about the little, little brother problem where there's somebody running around in the back of your living room or your cat jumps into the frame or something, and then all of a sudden it, it recognizes that motion. So what this technology does is it creates this imaginary box around your head that allows at least a little bit of movement while you're at the computer screen so that you can move or something could be moving in the frame, and it's still just, it's really focused on your pupils apparently. Wow. Yes. It, I, I'm very excited about it. Just the thing with my cat would get between me and the computer. Your cat and, totally and the cat would. has a huge. <laughs> no, we huge should know. It, this, we're still a little ways away from seeing this at the mass market. Uh, this company, you know, they're trying it out on different kinds of prototypes mm. right now. They tried it out on a Microsoft uh, Windows 8, which is not hitting the market until mm. next year. And they're not even an official partner with Microsoft on this. Um, they tried it out on a Lenovo prototype laptop last year. We saw that. Um, it's still a little while before you're going to see this everywhere. But they're demoing it at CES next week. Could it be the next big thing in, in, in uh, motion you know, technology? We'll see. We'll see, and you'll see because you'll be there and you'll be covering stuff for That's all right. things digital and hopefully for us from the Consumer Electronics Show next week.